Okay, everybody. We are up and running with the welding competition. I missed out on some videos because it was a little hectic just getting all the competitors situated and get everything going, but we are on round two of the, the stick and tick portion that Lincoln's taking care of. So I'm on the, the side that I'm taking care of uh, stick and tick. And so I'll show you a little bit about what's going on here. So right now they're just finishing up with all their aluminum and then they're going to switch over and do their stick project. Um, it's about lunchtime. Competition's about halfway over. This is the college uh, contestants. but it is the second and it is the last day of the welding competition. We've got high school, which is, uh, I think, post-secondary, correct me if I'm wrong. I competed in here, I should know that, but uh, everything's going good. The good part on the side of Welder Made is that everybody's got their projects. There hasn't been any issues. Uh, we have enough projects here. Everything's right, no missing pieces, and uh, everyone's happy. So, logistically, I'm very happy. Um, that that you know everything's going good there uh, we got a really good turnout this year a lot of a lot of students a lot of new schools a lot of new competitions it's just good to see after the year of covid and and whatnot that everyone's still getting the support they need to come here so we'll tag you along for the rest of today and show you the process so we are on the second rotation on my side as you got done with their aluminum and they're on their, their stick project now um, after today about three o'clock we got to get all this packaged up all the welders back on crates get everything tore down uh, for us to fly out tomorrow morning which would be a Friday so that is uh, complete where I've been here for seven days and the competition is only two so that kind of shows how much work and how much uh, we got to do to get this place rolling so it'll be a long night good day but uh, I'll take you along for the journey I know, he's hacked, bro. I guess he came up. They couldn't get him back down. You can tell me. Alright, so I'm going to walk you guys over to the metal sculpture area. It's a uh, it's a freaking awesome competition that people really enjoy. Um, I've always kind of watched it as I was in the welding competition. And I'm just going to show you some of the sculptures that these students are producing. They're really neat. Hi. How are you? Good. How are Good. you? Good. Try to get some video footage from my YouTube channel. Yeah, of course. It's a nice sculpture. Thanks. It's me welding a dinosaur. You welding a dinosaur, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's real heavy, but by all means. Great work, brother. Good job. What state? What state are you from? Uh, Illinois. Illinois. Good for you, man. What is it? So it's basically uh, in Spanish called La Isla de Imperfecciones. So basically translating the island of imperfection. 
Uh, cool. Basically, some people take things a little bit too seriously, and this is more of a thing of hey, you should let free and not take things so seriously and live life a little bit more. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Amen to that, brother. I appreciate that. It looks good. Everyone. Yeah. Thanks. Safe travels. The whole thing runs off of one, one tire. Yeah. Okay. Once, once the bullets run out, reload. Keep on firing. I get it. Very good work, sir. Thank you very much. I'm blown away by people's reactions. Very nice. Thank you very much. But it looks like gold when it's done right. Look at that, man. You did great. Good work. What state are you from? Tennessee. Tennessee? Very nice. Very nice sculpture, my friend. Thank you. What state are you from? Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Very cool. I'm Chandler. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me a little bit about your sculpture. Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, piece that I've always wanted a tattoo. Uh-huh. And uh never have got the tattoo, but when they told us we could do a sculpture stuff like that, I said, yeah, that's what I want to do right there. Awesome. And I had to figure out how I was gonna do it. But, uh, Looks like you did it really good to me. Uh, thanks. Cool man. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. There's some hard work in that thing. Yeah, about yeah. hundred and ten hours. About hundred and ten hours? Yeah. Cool. It's all upcycled material. Yeah. So, Recycled material. Huh? Uh, the body's an engine. The feet are a field cultivator shoe. Uh -huh. Legs are off a Yamaha 250 uh, shocks. It's out of a Jeep clutch. The head to the mouth is out of a Jeep clutch. All these are off of uh, bikes. Awesome. And that's off of the farm equipment, back chains. And this is off of a farm sickle here. And from here to here is spoons, uh -huh. and then the rest is all CNC cut uh, nice. scales that I programmed. Very nice. Cool. What state are you from? North Dakota. North Dakota? Very nice. Good work, Thank man. You. Thank you. <laughs> Keep that going. We gotta get this. Look at that. So that's a really cool camera. Thank you. Yeah, I do a YouTube a YouTube channel, so it's just perfect for like vlogging and, oh, yeah. and everything. Very cool. How many hours you got in it? 320, 320? The last like 10 hours is kind of a blur. <laughs> yeah. Very good work, man. Awesome. Good job, Alexander. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. All right, so this competition is really cool they're like building the inside of a house you've got uh, PVC plumbing you've got brass soldering no copper soldering for piping you've got electrical you got wood you got uh, masonry and it's all a team that completely builds a section of this house together within just uh, three days it's like they're even putting together insulation We are on the last day just getting ready to do our debrief. Um, last night we started packing up the facility and I didn't get a ton of footage. 
because all my camera SDs were full, my cameras were dead, and things were wild. Everyone was hurrying to pack up, but uh, the competition ended yesterday at 3 o'clock, and so we had four hours, and look how far we got in four hours. The booths are gone, the machines are packaged, everything's crated, and everything's ready to just organize and get on trucks. So I want to run around and show you guys um, just really quick the amount of projects just for the two competitions. So here we go. a lot of projects huh I got a I just did some math on how many pieces Weller made supply just for this one welding competition so for the national welding competition it was 80 sets of projects 80 kits and so that's 3,521 pieces 320 boxes that traveled close to 3,400 miles the truck did is about 17,000 loaded between the practice kits that were offered to the contestants before the competition and the and the uh, competition kits, we had 5,585 pieces of projects. And the awesome thing that I've been reflecting on for the past 12 hours is there was not one missing part, not one bad part, and everything turned out perfect. And the only reason that happened is because of the the team I have behind me and the people I trust. We did it. So, I've got a debriefing meeting in about 30 minutes, talk to the competitors, and then I'm on a flight to see my beautiful family. I cannot wait to get home and cuddle my little girl, play with my little boy, and hug the wife. So, yep, that's it. I'll give you guys some footage on the way home.